Rita and I live in South Wales in the UK and this is where I like to share my knitting, sewing and crafty things. <laughs> I hope you've had a nice week since we spoke last. It's Sunday again, can you believe it? Uh, Martin and I just got back from a craft fair in Swansea, a craft and flea fair in Brangwyn Hall and it was very nice. I bought this necklace, it's a little sheep don't know if you can see it's a little silver sheep and it was from a very nice lady and her um, shop is called June junesilver.co.uk so that was nice um, and last week I said I was going to finish the socks that I was knitting for Martin and the scarf I was crocheting to wear to Wonder Wool did I do those things no of course I didn't I picked up an old project and worked on that and started a new project. So I'm just going to have some of my tea. we have just come back from the food shop. Martin made us a nice cup of tea and I was going to record in the conservatory because it is actually sunny here in Wales today. But now it is too sunny and too hot in there so I had to come back into the dining room. Uh, so the old project that I've been working on is the Georgetown cardigan by Hannah Fettig. Now I did make it and finish it. It's got a very long collar all the way down the front and then it folds over. So it's quite deep and you're meant to pick up two out of every three stitches around the neck band to make the collar. And the first time I did it, I think I... Uh, picked up too few so it was too tight and then I used to try and hang things from the the, the collar band to try and stretch it and all sorts of things it wouldn't work so I took it out off and I did it again and then I didn't have quite enough yarn to make the fold over nice so I, I it's a really nice cardigan but I don't wear it so here's here it is my one it's in a royal blue and you can't really see and all the stitches I took the, the collar band off again and I am re-knitting it so all the stitches are on this circular needle so it's a bit bunched up and I also had made the sleeves too long so I have undone those and taken a bit of the yarn off and and restarted them done the other one already a bit crinkly because obviously the yarn was already knitted up in it so I have this much to do the the neck and these two bits and whatever I have left or the balls of there <laughs> from the other sleeve and I'm just going to knit and knit and knit until I use all the the yarn that I've got to make the collar a bit deeper so I can show you that next week most evenings I've been working on that, even though I knew I should have been working on the socks and the scarf. But I wanted to redo this for some reason. It was a bit chilly in the week and I thought this is a perfect cardigan just to put over, over your, you know, whatever you're wearing to keep warm. And I don't wear it because it just, the collar annoys me. So hopefully I will start wearing that again very soon. And then on Thursday, there was, or oh, Thursday night, the boys came over to stay, my grandsons, because Friday was a teacher training day. And we um, did some Easter crafts. We, made, we decorated some Easter chicks to eat, some cookies, and we made some Easter decorations. These ones here. And Jack was playing in the doll's house. Now, in the doll's house, I changed up the doll's house family for our family. So there's a Gaga and a Bumpy in there. There's a Mummy Daddy, a Harry, a Jack and an Uncle Josh. And Jack was saying there isn't a Charlie. Now, the people who've watched my videos for a while would know we used to have a lovely old English sheepdog called Charlie and she passed away a year or two ago now. And we still got photos of her around and the boys remember her. And Jack was saying we should have a Charlie. So I have a crochet book called Crochet a Farm. And the actual dog in this is an old English sheepdog. 
usually it's just a sheepdog or um, any patterns or anything that you buy even on Etsy and things with a dog theme there never seems to be old English sheepdogs and I don't know why because they're lovely dogs but this book did have an actual old English sheepdog and you were supposed to crochet them in DK but we obviously need it smaller to go in the doll's house it's it won't be to scale so I've started on that and I am um, using four ply and a very tiny needle two millimeter it's it is so fine uh, and I've got these two colors to be for Charlie she was gray and or white really dirty white most of the time and the the uh, cream is drops baby alpaca silk and it's the color 100 which is cream and then the gray is uh, alpaca yarn and it's from bear house alpacas and it's four ply yarn worsted spun it's very nice and it's going to be fluffy and you have to fluff up all the the yarn fibers after you've crocheted it and it's really fiddly and so far i have done her body her head and her nose <laughs> and i've got to do legs and ears and things so that they actually took me ages to do it's so fiddly with that little hook but i'm persevering because jack wants a charlie so jack will get a charlie basically they are the two projects i've been working on uh for knitting and crochet but i have a sewing finish in that i did cover my footstool with the fabric that i used on this lamp i ordered some cerise pink uh, piping cord from Frumble Fabrics. I've got the card. Just keep it. It's a bookmark in my crochet a farm book. It's there we are. Frumble Fabrics, and it came really quickly. I'm very pleased with it. And then, I, so I have made this. I have never made anything like this before. And I've never used. Oh, I have used piping cord. I did a, a footstool, a puffy round one, but that it was easier to do piping in the round rather than on a rectangle but I managed it and it's not perfect but it's it looks nice on the stool and Jack's already used it while he was playing in the doll's house he sat on his new footstool cover <laughs> so he was happy with that and I think that's everything I've been doing check I've, I've started writing a list rather than uh, itemize the projects I'm doing. I've written days and what I've worked on and if I have bought anything because I make things and do things and then once they're done I completely forget and even though it's just a week I think what what have I been doing this week? What can I tell you about? So there are all the all the projects I've been working on. Um, yes yeah, so that's everything. A bit of a rush Jody and Matthew and the boys are coming over later. They, when the boys came over to stay, Harry forgot his rugby boots, so he needs those for his training session next week. So they're going to pop over and get that. So I wanted to quickly come on and have a quick chat with you before they came and destroy the place. <laughs> no, I'm only joking. I love to see them. I hope you've all had a nice week. I hope you've had good weather. We have had appalling weather all week, but it's nice and sunny today. So that's good. And please let me know in the comments what you've been working on this week. Um, I had some lovely comments last week and people shared what they've been making. It's always really interesting. Most of the patterns I've never heard of, so I go off and have a little look and then have some ideas that um, for me for later on in the year that I might like to make. I already have some ideas of things I want to make for autumn and winter and we're not even in the summer yet it's a bit naughty but you know they all go down on the list and they'll be made at some point I've also got some new glasses these are occupational glasses so it's quite good because I can see the screen and I can also read with these although I'm not allowed to look there I've got to look over there where I'm not looking at anything. <laughs>
but um, yeah, I've got these and I've got some fairy focals, which I am getting used to. They're a bit strange, but I'm getting used to them. I hope you have a lovely week and I shall see you again next Sunday. Or maybe I'm, hmm, will I do Sunday? Because that's Easter Sunday and I'm going up to Jodie's. My dad and stepmom are going there as well. So, oh, I could just record Saturday. Anyway, I will sort all that out. I hope you have a lovely week and I shall see you all next time. Bye.